decades ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. But this man has even bigger dreams. Yes, he is on a quest to see and experience more from around the world. In Paris. in Beijing, in Hong Kong and other exotic locales. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring and how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, many say Japanese don't vigorously enjoy life. Today, we'll look at the passionate and vested Latin culture to see if there is something we can learn from them. We have found a man dubbed the maniac of Mexican food, devoted to it his whole life, and right here in downtown Tokyo. Japanese people haven't been exposed to real Mexican food. Actually, the Mexican food you find in Japan is usually based more on American recipes. The only Japanese who has been trained in Mexico in the art of Mexican cooking. So now, let's introduce an evangelist of Mexican cuisine, owner and chef of La Casita, Yose Watanabe. He left for Mexico almost 25 years ago. He was lucky enough to apprentice at one of the top restaurants, enabling him to learn everything. Two years later, he returned to Japan and opened the first authentic Mexican restaurant in Tokyo. So what is Mexican food? to this man. Chilies are not just hot. Some even have sweetness, some are bitter. Genuine Mexican food is about using different spices, different chilies for different purposes. Works of art made of chili peppers, creations that express both passion and authenticity. Ah, for this passionate man, we must come up with a qualified counterpart. A Latin duel, mano a mano. Let sparks fly through the kitchen stadium. So Watanabe, master of la cocina mexicana, wake us from our culinary slumber. It's a great chance for me to show what true Mexican food is all about.
スタジアムにまた一人新たなジャンルの料理人がやってまいりました日本人でただ一人メキシコに渡って修行をした本格的メキシコ料理の伝道師さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください大観山ラカシータオーナーシェフ渡辺陽生 Into Kitchen Stadium, the man who prepares authentic Mexican food in Japan. Most other Mexican restaurants here feature American style Mexican food, but our challenger has elevated Mexican culinary culture in Japan. We'll discover what genuine Mexican food is all about. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It's quite good. Genuine Mexican. Mexican food is very good food. I'd like to prove that to you. Yes. 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 Ascending into Kitchen Stadium is Iron Chef Italian Masahiko Kobe. Trained at Enoteca Pinchiotti in Italy, he draws raves for his new creations and culinary adventures. Focused, sophisticated techniques, always looking to expand his horizons. His fans await his creations today in this most intriguing matchup. Today, I'm going to show you the Mexican food of Mexico. Today, I'm going to show you the Mexican food of Mexico. 濃厚な甘みを持つあの果物を用意しましたマヤの時代からのあのフルーツの女王それでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマはマンゴー Today, the first Mexican food chef ever in Kitchen Stadium, Yose Watanabe, the only Japanese chef who cooks authentic Mexican fare, the challenger in the mango battle, taking on Iron Chef Italian Masahiko Kobe. All right, gong sounds, and they're off, and Kobe again with a mad dash. Sprints up to the ingredient stand. What is he? Some kind of track star these days? As both men get their mitts on the mangoes, getting the best ones of the two types of mangoes up there, right, Hattori? Yeah, right. The red ones are from Mexico and the yellow ones are from the Philippines. Okay, the Philippines and Mexico, sources for today's theme ingredient, mangoes. And the Iron Chef's already back, peeling the mangoes. And Kobe gets the challenge from the first Mexican food chef to appear in Kitchen Stadium, Cuisine's Mexican versus Italian, a real Latin mano a mano battle for today's viewers. And the Iron Chef, working fast, already has a mango in the oven oh, there. Oh yeah, you're right, he does. One mango in the oven already. Okay, now at this early juncture, let's introduce our guests for today's show, who will also be on the tasting panel. First, next to me, recording artist Corn. Hi, nice to be here. Corn, the word is out. You like Mexican yes. food, right? Mexican food. Yeah, I love it. But, you know, with the strong tequila and the hot stuff, mm -hmm. I'm usually drained the day after. Oh, yes. And I'm hungover. I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, and we also have, she looks so happy today, actress Mayuko Takata. <laughs> what? You're looking very well. Thanks for coming. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. <laughs> and Takata-san, Mexican food's becoming more popular in Japan. Well, I had a chance to go to Mexico last year, and it seemed like I was eating tacos every day, all the time. Great stuff there, the Mexican tacos. I guess they're the most popular thing to eat there. And even I know what the tacos there taste like. Well, actually, tacos are American food. Huh? They call it tortilla in Mexico. You kidding? Tacos no. are American? Yeah, tacos are a type of Tex-Mex food, American food. They've been imported reversely into Mexico huh. and become popular there. Boy, that's a fascinating tidbit of trivia there. Fukuizan? Yes. What you just saw the challenger slicing and dicing was, believe it or not, cactus. What? Mm. Cactus? <laughs> it's edible cactus? Come on. Well, you can actually peel the skin off, and of course the thorns get rid of them too. Ah, you know, I visited a cactus farm over there. It was so big. Yeah, and they're edible. Unreal. 
That's a Squeeze on. Yes. And in his rice cooker, the challenger has combined some things that we don't often see. Mango juice, zucchini, the edible cactus that we just saw, Japanese rice, scallops, plus mangoes and whole tomatoes, which he mixed together in the food processor. Mango rice. Wow. Thanks, huh? Hotel. <laughs> well, this is going to be a first. Now, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? Rice and Mexican food, of course. Rice often served on the side in Mexican dishes with the Mexican-style flavor, but we're not the experts. Just wonder if Japanese rice is going to be okay. It's quite sticky for the Mexican cooking. Watanabe the Challenger says that most of the Mexican food we see here in Japan is flavored American style from American recipes and he wants to offer the genuine Squeeze article on. for his customers. Yes. The Iron Chef says that Italian and Mexican cuisines are not that similar. The Italian flag looks something like the Mexican flag on its side, but in his opinion, Mexican food is just a lot of hot spice that lacks subtle flavoring. In his opinion, but category-wise, they belong to the same Latin cuisine genre and we should see some similarities down the line today. Fukuisan? Yes, Sorry ahead. to interrupt. I, I asked the challenger what he has in his container, and he said it's mango rice. He said in Mexico, rice is considered a vegetable uh, to be served in a coarse meal, and you could say this is kind of like a thick soup that can be served as a side dish. Back to you. Okay, and Yosei Watanabe trying to show us some Mexican-style fashion in his brightly colored attire today with the imprint of the sun there on his left sleeve, almost Mayan in design. One thing that comes to mind, you think about Mexico, the hot sun. And Takata-san, mango slices in the oven there. What would you do with mangoes? How would, what would you match them with? Well, I think mango goes with beef and other meats. That all seems okay. You could put it together with a, you know, a curry sauce or mm. something if mm -hmm. you wanted. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. Actually, a mango contains enzymes that help protein resolution in the food. Hmm. Mm. Mangoes have that? Yeah. Y yeah, yeah. Papayas, too. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Papayas as well. And now the challengers pulled out some interesting stuff here. Okay, chilies. Here we go. Okay, oh, chilies. Lots of them. Well, just before the show, actually, I went down there and uh, how shall I say, maybe borrowed a few. I got them, <laughs> got them right here. Oh, wow. And here, check Look these out. That. Yeah. So smell this. Okay, and they're all different. So gigantic. These are chilies. Try it. Doesn't smell so hot. Attack it's of not the so strong. Mutant chilies. <laughs> it's kind of like prunes. Mm, it's, but but it's mild, like raisins, you know. Actually, they use it for different purposes, like uh, making broth, things like that. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look, look at this now. Into the blender here on the challenger side. Chilies among the items in there with tomatoes. Is that hot? Not hot? That's the question right now from mm. here. Fukuizan? Yes. In the blender, the challenger has three kinds of chilies, ancho, morato, and pasilla, and white sesame, raisins, whole tomatoes, consomme, and cinnamon powder. Ancho, mm. morato, and pasilla, three types of chili peppers. That's quite the mixture they got going there. Quite indeed, several chilies blended in it. And so they've got a hot and spicy something that his assistant is dishing out right now. This is called mole sauce. It's the heart of Mexican cuisine, as some would call it. What it does, it helps pull out the body of whatever the main ingredient is. It's a great sauce, mole. So right to the heart of Mexican cuisine here, you could say. Yeah, it's kind of like chicken broth in Western food, kind of used as a base. All right, mole sauce. Have elapsed. 15 minutes gone now. Sauces and salsas, of course, important in Mexican food. And here, the Iron Chef bringing his A game at work on a pasta. Fukuizan. Yes. In one of his pots, the Iron Chef has some interesting ingredients. Let's see if we can get a shot of it here. There it is. This contains Mexican mango slices, olive oil, salt, rosemary, and Italian red chili. Now, the wow. Iron Chef says mm. that the challenger is using Mexican chili, so he's going to counter with Italian chili, which he thinks has more intricate flavor. Oh, his second subtle dig at Mexican food. Okay, well, this is interesting because you you know, chili peppers came to Europe from Mexico originally. Uh -huh. uh, and so it would be kind of interesting to see how the use of chili pepper has changed with the European cuisine. Their origin is Mexico, but Kobe says Italian chilies have more intricate flavors. Mm. Now the challenger's underway with Fukuzan? another dish. Yes. In this pot, the challenger has pelican mangoes, or the ones from the Philippines, ground pork, and pine nuts. All right, pine nuts on top with ground pork and mangoes mixed in underneath. Fukuizan? Yes, go ahead. In response to Iron Chef Kobe's comments on Mexican food lacking intricacy or uh -huh. subtle flavoring, uh -huh. the challenger said perhaps he is biased by the Tex-Mex American style of Mexican food. As Dr. Oh. Hattori said, Mexican food of Latin cuisine is the root of both Italian and French food, and I'm going to show the Iron Chef some real Mexican food today, he says. Whoa, the competitive juice is beginning to flow. 
Now the Iron Chef, he's got something looking like mango chips, though they're a little soft there. Mm, but that'll add sweetness to the dish, right? Right, you're right. That'll be sweet. Okay, Go ahead. When asked about the origin of Italian food being Mexican food, the Iron Chef said, oh, let the challenger say what he wants to say. I'll let the varieties of Italian cuisine do all my talking for me. Whoa, the battle's starting to get a little personal. Oh, and now the mango chips have gone into the food processor. Okay, well, he's probably dehydrated those a bit then. That mm, uh, right. would make it thicker. This well. would be nice if you stopped it into a pie, you know, like a tart, and then baked it. All right, mm. that's done now, and we're going to move on over to the challenger side. He's slicing up a block of meat here. Is it a which? Beef. Yeah, it's beef. Okay, I guess beef would go all right with the mangoes. Mm, I think so, What do you yeah. say, Takata? Yeah. Well, yeah. like I said before, mangoes contain digestive enzymes. That's for protein resolution. That softens the meat is what that means in layman's terms. All right. Healthy... Fukuzan? Yes. In this bowl over here, the Iron Chef has blended together white ricotta cheese and amaretti, an Italian sweetener, and to that he has added mango that was in the oven earlier and sugar to create this kind of paste. Okay, the mango that was in the oven earlier, added with the ricotta cheese. Maybe a dessert. Hmm. Okay, go I ahead. I asked the Iron Chef why he heated the mango in the oven before blending, and he said that he did that to condense the flavor of the fruit, hmm. and that these subtle differences are why Italian food is more sophisticated than any other food. That includes Mexican food. <laughs> All right. Well, both men really take pride in their own style and the cultural background of the cuisine they represent, and let's just leave it at that, okay? All right, take a look at this. I think hmm. this is going to be for tortillas. Yes, this here for yeah. making tortillas. What, what would you do to make tortillas from this, the mixture there? What, would you pour that onto a hot skillet or something? Or Yeah, exactly. And he's opening up. Okay, this is corn flour, I believe. All right, corn flour for you, corn. Uh, is, is he going to make pasta? Well, tortilla to Mexicans is like spaghetti to Italians. It's just kind of there. So Italian pasta is made of flour, however. All right, so these two chefs are taking the same approach. Right, yeah, exactly. Preparing the staple food, one with pasta and the other with tortillas. So I guess you could say it's a different talk, but it's the same walk. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they're related, you know, like relatives or something. Yeah. yeah, it's like preparing rice in Japan. Okay, the Iron Chef and I feel like I'm seeing the origin of pasta here. Well, actually, you could probably say that. Fukuzan? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. What the Iron Chef is squeezing out here is the ricotta cheese paste that was made earlier. Oh, yes, the ricotta cheese and... Yes, the sweet yellow paste that was made with the mango and the ricotta cheese. Okay, with the condensed flavor. Okay, this is ravioli. But don't you think it's a bit heavy on the cheese for uh, your basic ravioli? I don't know, maybe it would go in a soup? Perhaps. Okay, now the challenger Squeeze has on. some giant red bell peppers. Yes, go ahead. He's stuffing these red bell peppers, not chili peppers, bell peppers, with the items that we saw a minute ago, and the ground pork, pine nuts, diced mushrooms, salt, and they're all mixed together as stuffing. Wow. Okay, well, this is actually popular in Japan, too. Well, in any country, for that matter. Yeah, stuffed peppers. Yeah. yeah. Red right. bell peppers stuffed with ground meat popular in Mexico, too? Sure. You look at any cuisine in the world, people think about stuffing ingredients into some casing or hollow items like vegetables. Yeah, it's a really common cooking thing, right, I think, yeah. yeah. Huh, okay, why not? Stuffed bell peppers. Squeeze on. Yes. On the Iron Chef's side, they've cranked up the ice cream machine in already, and in it, he has a blend of Mexican mango, honey, grapefruit juice, grappa, lemon juice, perhaps more of a sherbet or sorbet than an ice cream, huh? Oh, my. Sweet sounding there. What? This is Ooh. the Iron Chef. That looks pretty. It's like shells. Yes, an artist at work from the Iron Chef, ravioli. Actually, some say this is the origin of gyoza. Now, of course, the Chinese people do not really go along with that theory. Squeeze on. Yes, go ahead. A tense moment here at the challenger side. He is now remaking his tortillas himself. He said his helpers huh? had mistakenly added oh, wheat my. flour to the corn flour. That's what they do when they make American-style tortillas. He doesn't want that. Mm. He wants the true Mexican style, and he says they must be redone. Back He's to you. He's got to go back and do it over. Actually, that's common in the U.S., that style. They do it for taco shells as well. They add flour. Okay, and... Here we go, tortilla time, getting the griddle just the right temperature. Okay, you see next to the frying pan that wooden tool? Yes. Oh, right. yeah. Okay, that's used to press the doughs into flat pieces or tortillas. Wow, a real tortilla press in yeah. action. It's really simple, almost primitive, though, wouldn't you say? Oh, look how pretty. It's perfectly round. You know, it looks like it's fun, too. I think so. He just does it in one shot. It's a one-off deal. You know, I wouldn't mind having one of those in my kitchen, but uh, just where to put it? That's yeah, the problem. I don't know how much I'd make I'd use it dinners. once a year, though. 
Oh, well, Hello. I guess I'll just continue to buy them at the store. <laughs> He's cranking it up here. It kind of looks like a crepe, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yes, it does, thin. especially down on the griddle. Handmade tortilla. Fukui-san? Yes, go ahead. I asked the Iron Chef whether he ever used mangoes in Italian food, and he mm. said very rarely. They're expensive, and when I do have a chance, I usually serve them as is, as fruit. But today I'm using them in the same way I would normally use yellow peaches. Okay, oh. a little under the gun, but he's making do. And a look at this moments ago. The Iron Chef slipped that mango right into the bird. It slid on. right in there, yes. Into this duck, the Iron Chef has stuffed a whole pelican mango without slicing it, a whole mango, which he's previously grilled in the oven. Okay, it's a duck, and now he's tying it up, and this will be roasted or grilled. Squeeze on. Yes. Sorry to interrupt again, but the challenger says that he is doing the tortillas himself because it's delicate work, mm. letting it rise once mm. and then pressing it flat so that it cooks uniformly. And this is how real Mexican tortillas are carefully made, he says. Great mm. care exercise there. No compromise, at least not today, from our Mexican cuisine expert. Meantime, Iron Chefs put that mango stuffed duck into a frying pan. What, cook it? outside first, it looks like. Yeah, I wonder if he can finish it in the time remaining. No, I, I would think so, yeah. This type of oven grills things pretty efficiently. Oh, right, mm. it's fast, Yeah, I it guess. would be much faster than doing the whole thing on this. Yeah, that's for sure. minutes to go. Mm, the challenger's mango rice is done. With mango rice or rice mangoes, Ooh, whichever. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, All right. that's good, though. Yeah. Well, I'm calling it rice mangoes. Okay, you you're the artist. <laughs> Sounds good with me, but only how it tastes is what matters. <laughs> and here it comes out of the cooker. Oh, looking yeah, good. Sure looks appetizing from here. You know, it almost looks like a paella. Like Spanish rice. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Spanish, right. Mexican, they're connected. Well, right? actually, all the same roots. Mexican culture, heavily influenced by Spanish culture, of course. Oh, this mm. looks good. Sure does. Once again, it's always tough just having to sit here and wait. It looks so soft, <laughs> does all it? the wonderful yeah. aromas swirl through the kitchen. He tried it, and it looked, he looked very satisfied. And now the Iron Chef, oh, look at that, mm. giving that stuffed duck a flip as he continues to pre-cook it in the frying pan and now some greens here with the mango what well, about this corn? Answers? Don't look at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. In this pan, the Iron Chef has combined butter and boiled Italian green onions or scallions, and now he's adding pureed mango sauce before stir frying. Right on the spot, Oda is. Thanks. It's mango. We're back, and Iron Chef Kobe removes the duck from the frying pan there. Oh, not in the oven now? Hmm. What? Huh? I wonder. Oh, maybe not. Maybe well, not. How about the microwave for a change? No, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Do you do that? <laughs> it's still rare inside, or is he going to smoke this? Okay, hmm. I think I know. Yes? Go ahead. When I inquired whether there is actually a recipe for duck stuffed with mango, he just looked at me and said, how long have you been doing this show anyway? No way. <laughs> we usually stuff the duck with herbs, but today I'm challenging myself with some mango sweetness, and this is going to be a Kobe original. It'll be another new artistic creation from Kobe, stuffed with herbs, the usual thing, but huh. he's the iron uh, chef. He's going to sandwich something there. He sliced the duck down the back <laughs> and is filling in with the something. The, Go ahead. The paste that the iron chef is spreading on and glazing on the duck breast includes cloves, nutmeg, cardamom, and pureed mango. Wow, what a combination. Hey, look there. at the challenger over here. Challenger Watanabe, and this is the beef we saw earlier, now stir fried and with mango added to it. Looks and you've like been it, singing yeah. the praises Squeeze of mango on. and protein. Yes. You remember the stuffed red bell peppers that the challenger had made earlier? He right. says that that's there a popular are. traditional Mexican dish, which of course usually doesn't include mangoes. But he also added that red bell peppers mm. are one of the most popular non spicy peppers peppers in Mexico, so it's not all spicy hot. Sure, they're shaped like chilies, oh, but not hot at all. Lamb could be stuffed into that. Man, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. They could have done that, and any type of meat would be fine. Okay, this is the mole sauce, yes, right? Yes, yes, this is the sauce we discussed before, which okay. uh, brings out the full Fukuzan. body. Yeah, go ahead. In the Challenger's frying pan, he has the beef fillet sauteed with mangoes. Now, there are two kinds of mangoes, mm -hmm. pelican and Mexican oh. mangoes, mm -hmm. and as seasoning, he is using the three types of chilies, ancho, morato, and pasilla, white sesame, raisins, whole tomatoes, consomme, and cinnamon powder. And right there, it passed a sniff test. He liked that. Mm -hmm. And as both you and Hattori pointed out, various chilies mixed together in the sauce. Okay, the Iron Chef has started something interesting here. I wonder what he's up to. Hmm. I don't know. Fukuzan. Go ahead, yes. What the Iron Chef is scooping out of this bowl is a mixture of butter, Mexican mango, salt, and Marsala wine. And all of this has mm. been heated. Wow. Ah, Marsala he's actually, wine. Yes, he simmered this in a saucepan first. Okay, a type of Sicilian wine, and wow. 
putting that down well, onto a huge. very thin pie crust. Yeah, it's going to go into the pie. Gorgonzola cheese. Gorgonzola cheese added. Hmm, and now to be wrapped. Fukui-san. Go ahead. As he's making this dish, the Iron Chef says, mm -hmm. I guarantee you the flavor is 100% good. All right, money back guarantee. <laughs> uh, looks fantastic to me because, you know, putting like honey on cheese is so good. So cheese and sweet things go really well together. It's that idea of a uh, protein and uh -huh. uh, sweet together. Mm. Right, exactly. Like that. Okay. Fukui-san. Yes, Ota. Do you remember the red hot sauce that he was making, the yes. mole sauce? Uh -huh. Well, I asked him just how hot it was, and he said, when you taste it, you'll know it's not just hot. I want everybody to experience the other elements of flavor besides hotness okay. through this sauce. The taste is impeccable, he says. So some other subtle flavors to the mole sauce, not just spicy. But he didn't say it wasn't hot. <laughs> I noticed him using smoked chilies as well. Hmm. All right. As we are coming upon the five-minute mark, there it is, the Iron Chef, and this this is... Uh, ravioli, Yes, okay, ravioli Squeeze being on. boiled. Go ahead. The Iron Chef said this is not called ravioli, it's mm. called tortellini, and he said tortellini is better than tortilla. Oh, my, <laughs> going on the offensive again. And the hot water that you see here is not just plain old hot water, it has mango seeds in it, which adds the aroma of the mango to the water. Oh, oh wow, okay. not just regular boiling water. No, he's going to have that mango essence percolating yeah. That tortellini <laughs> now the coming out. Boiled it. Huh? Huh? What, what's going on? Oh, I got a chant huh? happening here. <laughs> Backers of Watanabe in force up in the royal box. All right. Obviously cheering the challenger here. They've <laughs> caught the Latin spirit. It's like a World Cup soccer match. <laughs> Mexico versus Italy. A warm up for 2002. Oh boy. Got the fire in the kitchen stadium today. Okay. All right, challenger Yose Watanabe, now the Iron Chef and the duck coming oh, out. Look at that, that oh looks boy, great. That looks oh, roast delicious. duck, the mango Ooh. stuffed version. Ooh. Boy, that's a good looking bird. <laughs> now, what do you think he's going to do with this one? Okay, I think still something we're not left. Sure, actually. Okay, now over to the challenger. And there they are. Oh, the stuffed peppers. Yes, right? minced pork stuffed in red bell peppers, fried. Very colorful there mm. as we zoom in. Check that out. Wow. Fukui-san? Yes, go ahead. I asked the Iron Chef why he's using the long Italian scallions as the garnish for the mm -hmm. roast duck, and he said that, what are you talking about? And then he started rambling about some old Japanese saying that says, <laughs> when you don't have onions, you don't have duck, and when you don't have duck, you don't have jack, and I don't have any <laughs> idea what his answer was. <laughs> All right, well, maybe you could keep that one in your hip pocket, okay? Regardless of what he said, the scallions look quite nice there with the duck. Whoa. Now, this on the oh, challenger this side. so Good. Yes, but you know, just thinking how that rice One will taste. In Japan, we're used to eating rice with salty items. Right, yeah, I can relate to that. Okay, we'll just have to wait and see. Under a minute now. And let's move on over to the Iron Chef's side. Pan over there. The ice cream. Yes, a mango gelato is now ready. Ooh. Look at that in a cracker or something okay, on top. Okay, now what's this? What's over here? Some fried pasta, perhaps. Yeah, that's pasta. Uh-huh. And okay. these are mango skins, right? No, I saw him roasting something like this before. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're paying attention here. <laughs> All right. 30 seconds Okay, the final go. 30 seconds coming down the home stretch. The first Mexican cuisine chef here in Kitchen Stadium battling the Iron Chef Italian. Okay, he's wrapping something here. Oh, hmm. what? Oh, wow. Uh, okay, yes, uh, a garnish. Oh, On to okay. the plate now from the Iron Chef. Go. 15 seconds sticking down, and Challenger Watanabe is finished. His dishes are done. Made it with time to spare. Iron Chef Kobe, less than 10 seconds, Five still seconds. scrambling. Watanabe, tension's Three, gone. Iron two, Chef, better wrap it up. One. That's it. The cooking's done. The mango battle is over. How did it go today? I'm exhausted. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I tried to perfect things, but I had no time. I hit about 80%, but I succeeded in expressing the true Mexican flavor. Uh -huh. I did okay. And the Iron Chef? I had no time to even look at what he was doing. But uh, anyway, today my rival was the mango. Well, I'd say I did my best. And you persevered? I think, yes. Another battle? Yes. How was it? Well, I'm more relaxed these days, but I could be more creative. Really? This was my first time using mangoes in main dishes. I'm a bit concerned how it turned out. Any predictions? Ask the man upstairs. Okay. Challenger Watanabe offers these six dishes. First, steamed abalone with mango sauce. The abalone steamed in tequila matches perfectly with the sweetness of the mangoes. And the tart lime flavor adds depth to the taste of this appetizer. Second, scallop and Mexican vegetables rice. 
The hot jalapeno sauce ties this unique creation together. The edible cactus meat also adds a hint of a Latin flavor to the Japanese rice used in this dish. Stuffed red pepper. Minced pork and mangoes create a healthy harmony in this familiar looking dish. The gentle colors reflect the nice light taste of this Mexican style creation. Fourth is mango and tequila cocktail. The challenger added a bit more lime than usual to make it a delightful cocktail. Fifth, beef with mole sauce and tortillas. The premier Mexican sauce allows the taster to enjoy all the filet has to offer. And the tortillas have mango added to them for a pleasing aroma. Last, mango with walnut sauce. A popular sauce in Mexico is the choice to put the finishing touch on an eloquent dinner. Iron Chef Kobe is offering five dishes. First, marinated mango and tomato. The slight sourness of the balsamico harmonizes the sweetness of the tomato. Next to the tomato are chunks of mango and abalone. Second is mango stew with ice popsicle. Who would think of adding an ice popsicle mango flavored to a stew? In the mango stew, he has asparagus, zucchini, ham, and yogurt. It has a splendid creamy taste. Mango tortellini, a pasta stuffed with mango and ricotta cheese. The sweetness of the cream and cheese succeed in drawing out the sourness of the mango. Fourth, roast duck. The Iron Chef's biggest challenge of the day, stuffing one whole mango inside the duck. The crispy finish is just right, and the long onions cooked in mango juice prove themselves as fine garnishes for this new creation. Last is mango gelato and pie. Inside the pie crust wrapping is a combination of mango and gorgonzola cheese, and the gelato gently ties these strong elements together. Today's challenger, the owner chef of Tokyo's La Casita restaurant, Yosei Watanabe, the chef for authentic Mexican cuisine. He chooses to go head-on against the Iron Chef Italian, Masahiko Kobe, in a matchup of Latin cuisines. Chairman Kaga unveils the surprise theme ingredient, mangoes, putting the pressure on both the combatants. Challenger Watanabe coolly delivers six dishes to the panel. Iron Chef Kobe responds with a fine five. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are photographer Tenmei Kano, actress Mayuko Takata, artist Korn, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes from Challenger Watanabe. I had no control over the choice of the theme ingredient. My goal was to express the true flavors of Mexican cuisine. Sweet. When you uh, deal with mangoes, how you would control sweetness would be the utmost key, I think. This is like a Mexican version of our sweet rice balls. It's just the same. In terms of sweetness with the sweet bean paste, isn't it? Yes, bean paste. Yes. But you know, sweet rice is not what we're used to for dinner. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So, when I tried this with the hot sauce, I said, why didn't he mix it into the rice from the beginning? Yes, they do this in Mexico as well with a stuffed red pepper. But uh, the sauce is uh, probably a new adventure for you all. It's hot. Really? <laughs> this sauce is your original recipe? Yes. Well, I think you should market this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's not so beefy. Somewhat like tofu, in a way. You may be right. The meat gets really tender. Yeah, yeah. It's a really healthy dish. The meat has blended perfectly with the mango. I don't really feel like I'm eating meat. Mm, this is good, really good. And for his fourth dish, the challenger proudly serves his hand-finished tortillas. Ooh, the color of Mexico. I'm confident about the sauce, but... Uh... Did you add uh, mango in this? Yeah, yes, and I did. The uh, mango's in there. Mm. What is this unique aroma? This sauce contains sesame, 
almonds, raisins, chocolate, and oh, chocolate chilies. Three kinds of chilies. It's a very complex taste, yes, but it is. Uh, I think it makes you happy. So far, this one has the least amount of the mango sweetness. I thought this was going to be really hot. I made up my mind, but when I ate it, it wasn't so hot. You'll feel it later. later. Right, seconds later. The shells are totally different from the tacos I'm used to eating. When I think of Mexican food, I usually think of spicy and oily or something. But the dishes today were not so hot, and they were subtle and light, you know, easy to eat. It's changed my mind about Mexican food. Thank you. And now, Iron Chef Kobe's dishes. Well, I thought the challenger was coming up with more uh, you know, like lighter Mexican food, so I intentionally prepared some uh, creamy items. This is great. I love the cold touch. You know, the cold, cold mango goes well with it. I didn't think it would match this well with the balsamico. It's really good. This allows me to taste two different flavors of mango, of the same mango. It's very interesting. I tried to create two textures here, the pasty mango and the crispy fried items. This is wonderful, really good. Mm. I also like the crispy bits on top. These are nice. I wish I could take this to a movie, you know. <laughs> I, I can eat through a whole movie. Uh, uh, this is a first for me. Very good. I'm impressed with the combination you presented. A superior dish. And now the Iron Chef slices the roast duck, cooked using his original recipe. Yes. For this dish, I used the mango as a seasoning. I've never had roast duck like this before. It's probably it's probably this unique sauce that that does it. The sauce makes this dish very unique. The sauce is the main element of the dish, very aromatic. This sauce is well done. The sauce is done perfectly. It's the right sauce to be added to any of the elements on the dish. It ties the whole thing together. It's really good. Thank you very much. I tried to combine cold and warm desserts. There he goes again. I've only had gargonzola cheese on a piece of bread. Everything matches perfectly with the others. As if this dish has been a classic for a long, long time. I'm wondering how he thought about combining the cheese and the mangoes. This is a delightful combination, a really nice match. Everything, yeah. Thank you very much. But you know, your dishes were all overpowering, appealing too much. I might have wanted one subtle dish, but his creations were all perfect. Skills, ideas, and all adventure. Good stuff. Tasting's done. Time to choose who will win and who will lose. For the first time, Kitchen Stadium was blessed with the presence of Mexican cuisine. Challenger Watanabe, so devoted to authentic Mexican cooking, showed us six eye-openers today. Will he be able to steal a win and celebrate with a bottle of tequila? Or can the Iron Chef once more defend his turf in this mango battle whose cuisine is supreme? It's the Iron Chef, Kobe wins it. He comes through in this mano a mano Latin battle of the mangoes. And a display of good sportsmanship between the two men for all the blustery talk earlier. Congratulations to both, one for the win, the other for showing us what real Mexican food is all about. A great show of mutual respect.
Okay, check the scoring out of a possible 20. Kano, 20 to 18 Iron Chef. Takata, 20 to 18 Iron Chef. Korn, 20 to 18 Iron Chef. And Kishi, 1917 Iron Chef. A four nothing sweep, one point shy of perfection. Putting it on the line and winning. The feeling never gets old. Masahiko Kobe knows the feeling.